what the seed terminator is about is reducing the amount of seeds that get put back on the ground to become weeds next year. Um, and you know, you, you, can, you can do a great job with chemicals for that season, but the next season you're going to have to keep applying the same amount of chemistry and it's a continual process. What the seed terminator does is it captures those seeds and it destroys them, makes them non-viable and, and next year's problem is not as bad as this year's. The multi-stage hammer mill is our, is our core technology and it's really the aero impact that make it unique. It's able to pass through the air in an efficient way, doesn't create too much turbulence and waste heat. We've optimised the particle flow through the mill so that we reduce the amount of wear that's occurring and reduce the weakest links in the chain. So we've coated them in tungsten carbide and we've hard faced certain components. There's been a whole proceeding of metallurgical changes that improve the wear life but also just the geometry to reduce the over-processing of material has enabled us 31% reduction in power. So we've also worked on the, the drive line to be more robust again. We did have a really good run in 2017, but the drive line is always something that you want continuous improvement on. It's been really, really positive. The farmers that have been with us since 2016 have seen a massive improvement in the technology from their first year, which was constant driveline issues, through to robust driveline in 2017 to a massive reduction in wear and power for the 2018. So they've been with us on the journey. And I think that's really the essence of Seed Terminator is that we've engaged with farmers that, that want to be with us on this journey and we can they help us and we help them create a sustainable farming business. Our mission is to, to move towards agriculture which doesn't rely completely on chemicals. We're not naive enough to think that we can be the whole solution to this and we're a research and development company and we want to continue to invest in non-chemical weed control but I always feel like chemicals will have a place because they're, they're an amazing technology and we really need to now focus on protecting those chemicals which enable us to farm sustainably.